If there's anything the pandemic has taught us, it's that we need to be flexible and just roll with whatever life hands us. In a way, that's what Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutti is all about, says director Tim Nelson. Just the moment that your heart breaks for the first time and you realize that life is not going to be as simple or as planable as you imagined it. I think it has a particular resonance coming out of this time where all of a sudden all of our lives were shattered in a way that we couldn't have imagined. And you, you realize how vulnerable you are and how unpredictable life is going to be. You know, that's one of the best things about art is that it imitates life. Reginald Smith Jr. sings the central role of Don Alfonso. We all had our own individual plans and things are great and everything's going to work out. Now, I think even still in the middle of this pandemic, we all have a heightened understanding and awareness of ourselves, of space, of washing our hands, but also a great appreciation for relationships and connections and friendships. For San Diego Opera's general director, David Bennett, returning to live performances needed to take into account not only artistic concerns, but practical ones as well. It's a small opera. It has a cast of six, has a relatively small chorus, and in our production, which is a new production, the chorus is off stage the entire time. And it has a not small, but not a large orchestra too. So all of that is part of why we chose it, right? But it's Mozart. And Mozart serves up a story of transformation, which audiences can identify with, especially now. In Cosi Fan Tutte, two sets of lovers discover that the course of true love never does run smooth, prompting Nelson to take his design cue from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. The metaphor that Shakespeare spins out in Dream, along with a lot of his plays, of going into the woods, of going into a dark, scary place where one goes through a transformative experience and comes out on the other side different than the way they went into it. So the way this production will look is actually very much like a production of Midsummer Night's Dream. So an idyllic poppy field where we first meet the lovers transforms into a wooded forest where Don Alfonso, a confirmed bachelor, tries to prove that all women are fickle. So every director has a decision to make as to who is the smartest character on the stage. <laughs> Whose show is it? For me, it's Don Afonso's show. It's a great joy to be doing it with Reggie and having someone who's able to own not only his role, but his show. Smith does command the stage as he literally steps in to direct the action. Because he is the puppet master, much like Iago in Otello, there's always this sort of there's always a little whisper. And so he's always around. And so there's a sense of you always have to be on. Even when he's not singing, he's busy on the periphery of the stage, making sure things are going according to his plans. To add levity to some of the action on stage, Nelson has turned to vaudeville. So one of the things that we've done conception-wise, um, particularly in the design, is to lean into stage magic, old-fashioned vaudeville stage magic because we're, we're using as a central metaphor of the piece being in a performance, being on, on stage. But none of these antics detract from the music. There's something about the music of Mozart that just speaks right to your heart. What better way to spend this Valentine's weekend than with Mozart's playfully romantic opera? Which reminds us that in matters of both the heart and life, we need to be ready to roll with the punches. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.